first of all, I wonder. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? What? How is this a thing? I told you it was gonna happen. I freaking told you. Did I not just call that? Did I not just call that? You son of a bitch. Damn you cold games, you thought of everything. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Bloodstalker. We're back with some more subsistence. And I, I swear to God, I keep having a bear problem. I log in, and I got a wolf right at my door, sticking his head through. I got a bear over here. I had to kill him. It just was bloody and messy. And now this dude's over here. I swear to God. So anyway, when I need them to test out new weapons, they're never to be found. But yet, I find them all the time when I don't need them. I just want to mine this potassium. Oh, really? Gonna hump the rock real quick. There we go. So anyway... Oh, there he is right there. Oh, he got me. want to do that because I'm trying not to waste shotgun shells, but a level 2 shotgun just annihilates them. Oh, well, there we go. So anyway, I hope you guys have been doing good. I hope you guys had a happy new year because I had a good one. It wasn't too bad. Look at that fat. Um, things are going pretty good. I mean, today's New Year's Day. I figured I'd get a video recorded. I'm going to be doing some new stuff coming to the channel pretty soon. Um, Sheldon's AFK and I are going to be doing a doing some, I think we're going to do Miss Creative what we decided on finally so we're going to see, we're going to try playing some next weekend, see how it goes and ultimately that's how we're going to end up and I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to that because it's going to be something different and I also got some art coming to the channel pretty soon like I said, I'm not going to be doing heavy like art videos, I'm going to be putting out probably two videos a day when I do art It'll be a video arc along with what, what Savage Lands, Subsistence, and Subnautica and stuff we've been playing too. Because I don't want to just get into just doing one. And dividing up my time amongst videos, it's kind of hard sometimes. Because everybody's loving Savage Lands. Everybody's loving Subsistence. And um, I don't want to end them right now because there's so much we still got to do in here. And we've taken the pistol up to level 3. We've taken the shotgun up to level 2. I think I'm going to start doing the... Actually start doing the the SVT now, get it leveled up, seeing how I got so much extra ammo for it. Let's see here, where do we want to go? And just kind of go from there. Now I can make a, where's it at? Fuel brick. That's what we want to make. I've been making fuel bricks to save on wood. Oh, come here, Wolfie, or chickeny. Gotcha. Oh, most OP method around. All right, so I figured we'd do a little bit of loot running. Oh wow, look at all this fiber. And a bear, we'll just run right by him. Hopefully won't make chase because I want to get this stuff. God, there's fiber everywhere, look at this. Good, he didn't make chase. Now, one thing I've always talked about is, you know, retrace your steps periodically because you will find stuff. And we did find there's a crate spawn right behind us again. What I really need right now, though, is copper, not potassium. But we'll take the potassium. So, I'm, I don't know about you guys, but it's after the first of the year. I'm hoping Cold Games has got an update coming or two. I don't know what he's got up his up his sleeves though. Look at that, more fiber. That's ridiculous. I mean, I don't know what else he's got planned. I, I mean, I believe the way things are going as it stands right now is we're probably going to be seeing loot crates disappear. Which, if it happens, it happens. 
I mean, I do like the enjoyment of going out searching for them. And, um, you know, just the randomization that you get from it and all that. But, you know, ultimately, I'd like to be able to gather other things. I don't see anything over here, or wise But other than that, I mean, you know, really, we've done so much in this game as it is. I don't want to shelf it anytime soon. I've kind of tapered back on the episodes I've been putting out just for the simple fact that, you know, one, we've really done so much and I want to, like, I want to do some off-camera off gathering and things. Oh, look at you. I see what you're doing. I'm no dummy. I do want that, though. And I really want to start going after hunters more. And I think that's what I'm probably going to start doing. Now that I got my confidence back, because I'm telling you, I lost my confidence. That was my problem. I mean, I, I, I guarantee all you guys can attest to that, too. You have one bad experience with the hunters, and it basically puts you on edge. It just makes you not feel like you can do it. it makes you feel like you're just struggling. And when I, you know, I, you, be, you go to depend on the SVT so much. And I mean, I'm, I guarantee everybody else can relate to this, too. You depend on the SVT as being your gun of choice, your weapon of choice, and it starts failing you. You tend to not know what to do at that point. You know what I'm saying? And that's what happened to me. And, not, and now knowing that I can take him out with a pistol, just as long as i got plenty of ammo, I don't feel as, like, helpless, I guess. So we're probably going to go after some more today. Oh, God, I have five up there. All these damn animals and all this good stuff around here. Keep a wide berth of both of them. Okay, yeah, you go stay right there. I'm just gonna mosey through the bush, straight ahead. Yeah, there we go. Part the ways, part the ways. Just a little, just a little jump up and run. There we go. Come on, we get, we got this. There we go. So anyway, yeah, I think today we're going to go after, we're going to mess with the other hunters. Now, there's a group of hunters I really haven't done a lot with. Oh, I got it. Oh. Damn it, I keep doing that crap yet again. I should quit running around with it out. Probably the best thing to do. There we go. I'm no longer around to run around with my pistol or, or the shotgun out. I tend to like to waste the ammo, apparently. Now what I need to do is find some more. I really need more ammo going. I mean, I blew a lot. I mean, I literally blew a lot of it going through there. Alright. We really need copper, though. We're only at like 33 cooked copper, I think, is what I got. And I want to make some more solar panels to try to get off the generator power. And that takes like, I think it takes 15 copper, or 13, or it takes a weird number of copper. And so, in order to do that though, we're really gonna have to start grinding out copper. I have yet to find it. And so that's why I'm thinking we're probably gonna have to start going after hunters to get it. Oh my god, look at that. Double, double case. Come on, don't do that. So, I think we also need to take this time to recognize and welcome all our new subscribers. I think we're sitting up at 172 right now. And um, a lot of that is owed to Cage for shouting me out and talking about me. Um, I really appreciate all you guys have come over and checked out the channel. Um, apparently everybody's been very positive about the channel. And hell, they've been leaving a lot of comments. I love it. Even on some of the older videos, it's hilarious. I'm not messing with the lock crates. You guys aren't going to tease me with that. Probably a good thing there's a wolf sitting on top of it anyway, so I don't go over there. Well, it's two jugs of water. That's good. I haven't been running my well as much because of power. I mean, <laughs> so apparently the other day, when I, was, I think I was live streaming maybe, I had hooked up, I had both the generators running, had power out the wazoo, and I was just sitting there going about my business, mining up stuff. I still got my damn hammer on me too. 
But I was going about my business, just, just mining away, you know, doing my thing, running around, going back to base, running in and out. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. We'll go back this way, how about that? And so, while doing so, though, apparently my power ran out and came back on and generated back up, but my refrigerator shut off. We're close to a hunter base over here. And so, that's like the worst thing that could happen. So all my meat spoiled in it. It's pretty damn bad. I mean, it sucked. But I'm just going to recycle all of it, basically. I mean, I'll just put it in a recycler to get mass out of it. It's about all you can do at this point. I mean, I wouldn't throw away any of your meat. If it spoils, definitely hang on to it. Because then you can use it for cooking up and putting in the mass, mass recycler or whatnot. And get mass out of it, at least. It doesn't give a lot, but it gives you, I mean, sometimes you just need a little bit to get to where you need to go. We should, I think the hunters are back over this way. Did I just see one? We're in no position to be going after them right now, but... I do want to see how close we are. Because I don't hear them. There's another lock crate. Bastards, I swear. Okay. Now, I will say, I was watching a guy earlier today while I was uploading a video, my video for tomorrow, the Subnautica video. I was watching a guy stream Subnautica. I mean, not Subnautica, I'm streaming Subsistence on Twitch. And it was the first time he ever played it. And he was just he just got the game and it was really interesting watching somebody from a whole new perspective playing that game. And um, you know, I wasn't telling him a lot. I said, Hey, have you tried this? And then I kinda quit, got quiet about it. And he's like, Oh, no spoilers, no spoilers. He's wanting to experience it all for himself. And I was like, You're in for a wild ride, son. It's gonna get crazy. Cause I think he just finally got his first hunter spawning in. I really need to get some wood while we're out too. I got pretty good at catching them, but I swear sometimes I just suck at it. As I go up here. I thought I saw a case up here. Or am I losing my mind? I don't know why I cycle through that crap. It's just easier to hit the button. My base is back over there, so I might not be near any. I think I'm pretty far out, matter of fact. But we're going to go this way. Might start moseying back to base because it's starting to dark. I swore I just heard a tree get hit. I'm telling you, man, I keep hearing all sorts of crazy noises now. And it sounds just like hunters hitting trees, or it sounds like this, or it's, I mean, you know. I know Game Edge has had the same problem, because he's talked about it before, too. I even posted a comment saying that. Okay, we're pretty far back. Oh, hell, we're on the other side of the map from him, see? Here, I was thinking I was on that side over there. I thought I made it all the way around. Is that a... Damn it. I just don't want to deal with them. I really need to be saving my resources. And plus the lock crates, man. I mean, the last couple I've gotten have been hit or miss, you know? Oh, and I, when I was live streaming the other night, I ran over to their base right at dark. Right when it got dark. It was just kind of dusk at the time. And they hadn't respawned back, so I stole their ash, you know, and just kind of checked out their base, and I ran out. As soon as I got back to my base and turned around, guess what? You could see blue glow sticks popping up, so they had just spawned in. Hey, buddy. You doing all right today? Oh, there's your other buddy. 
Yeah, you can't. I don't know about sneaking up on him. I need to try that again, though. See how close you can get to him. Because I've managed. You trying to run up on me, homie? That's what I thought, boy. Getting that echo of their footprints there. I know something, though. They ain't got shit on me in my level 3 pistol. Now, to go to level 4, it's going to take more resources. I don't... I want to do it. God, I want to do it so bad. Let's go check on that. And yeah, my planter box, man, is just... It's pointless having it here. I'm going to have to move it up top. Let's check on the... I've only got one chicken in here. Let's put the other one in here. I, got, I caught... I did get an egg. So they're doing alright. Eggs are level 7. Alright. And that loud ass refrigerator. Alright, let's check this out real quick and see what we need. God, we're going to need 40 copper. I don't even have the copper to do it right now. Is that 2,000 or 20? I don't even. It's over 2,000, I think. So we don't even have. We won't even, I think it's 26 or 25. God, that's ridiculous. The other thing is the reload speed, which eventually I think I might do that. I just want damage right now. I want to see how much how high I can get it. Let's go ahead and turn you on. Put you on the cook. Yeah, we need to eat something. I have been, I mean, since I've been killing more animals, because I could one-shot them, man, I've been getting a lot of stuff. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn all that into nine mils. We'll eat that apple, how about that? How do you like them apples? Okay, I know it was a bad pun. Calm down, calm down. So let's see here. We can make two fuel bricks, too. I'm so sick of this crap. Damn you. Yeah, you better walk off, son. I wish they would have a barrier around your base that they would not just walk up. I mean, look at him. I mean, dude's like way... He's, he's way invading my personal space right now at this point. It's just not cool. This Yahoo, look at that. I mean, if I stand up in my base, they'll come after me. Now, one thing I've been talking about doing is what a lot of people have been doing is making Ford operating bases. And I still have all this stuff in here. I need to really be grinding out some more wood, so I think we'll do that in the next episode, is we'll make a Ford operating base. Make it about three stories and just put it... I want to put one as close as possible to the hunter to see if they attack it or whatnot. I'm just curious. It's only going to be a 2 by 2 I'm not going to go crazy with it. Go ahead and eat that up. Still rendering some fat. So we're getting some more ammo. Let's go ahead and put the rest of the crap up. Now we got we got tons of nails. I'm good on I'm good on building supplies. I mean, we could really make this base big. We just need the wood. And I'm not using wood for fires anymore. Let's go ahead and do all that. Because i got plenty of cordage, so I'm not making cordage anymore either. We've got three fuel bricks. We'll have four fuel bricks now. So we're doing pretty damn good on all that. Crap, now we're freaking out of room for metal. I really need to redo my storage. Look at that, one, two, three, four, five, six hundred and twenty-seven nails. <laughs> Son of a... I swear to God, how many times am I going to do this in an episode now? And I know you guys are just laughing your asses off at me, aren't you? I'd laugh at me too, honestly. trying to explain to people how I rage quit subsistence. Why'd you do it? Well, because I kept shooting everything in my base. <laughs> Just sad. 
I don't think we're gonna be running out of matches for a while, that's for damn sure. I'm gonna get a lot of fat off of that. Alright, so put that in there. See, I have no copper to cook up whatsoever. I've got 161 iron. I need to just. Ugh. 60, 30, 40, and 25. I haven't really used a lot. I do have an extra grenade, too. So we're doing good on that re on those resources. Now, unless you just have to, I wouldn't advise making gunpowder. Because if you're garden, especially if you've got a garden going, because I mean, look. I'm kind of hurting on ash again. And I even stole 200 from the, the hunters, so. Alright, let's see if we can get any more trouble. Alright, everybody, we're back. We're going to do this. I've got my SVT just in case. I've got 16 pistol rounds. i got four shoddy rounds. We're going to do it like this. We're going to start off with the SVT. It is level 1, so hopefully it'll help. Now we do have 27 rounds for it. So we're going to try the broken ass SVT at first. That's because I'm going to see if I can get some headshots close range hiding up on that rock again. I can't pass up. Really, dude. So if you get out of his distance and crouch, he will stop chasing you. Yeah, just give it a minute. So I want to get up on the edge of this rock right here. I'm being quiet. I'm trying to hear if I can hear him coming. Oh, that damn jumping just scared the crap out of me. Well, they haven't been too alerted to me yet. Dude's off farming. there. All right, let's see how broken this thing is. So that was a head, dead, head, dead on headshot. Aim for a body shot. I don't know, I guess they're just not going to be interested in me. There we go. Got him. Here we go again. Yeah, this is broken. I know this is broken. back down there again, buddy. What the hell? You hear that? I swear I just saw that's my shadow. I saw a shadow. <laughs> shot his damn friend. <laughs> I'm just laughing too hard that I'm not paying attention. Ugh. 
That was hilarious. Oh, dude, that was just so damn funny. He legitimately just shot his own friend. I mean, did you see it? That is so going to go in the intro of this video. God bless a freaking America, man. I mean, really? I'll take that. I mean, he, he legitimately helped me kill his buddy. Oh, my God. We got a little bit of ammo back. Look at all that food we got. I really want the ash, though. And again, with the damn animals hanging out with their base. Go ahead and put this on the cook. Oh, it's only 162, but that'll do. Alright, now, I've been getting a lot of... I got a lot of comments and feedback back on dropping the grenades. We're gonna have to wait for the bear because I don't want to run off straight into his butt. So, everybody was saying, What if I could get him to attack the base? So, like, stand where you are and run like a little, like hell. Let's see how much that did. Get the inventory up. Get my hammer out. I do love this low OP method. So that did wow. One grenade doing it that way did almost half damage. Are, are we going to have an issue here, buddy? I'll go check my food. It's not cooked quite yet. Maybe he'll go away. Because I've got two grenades left. And I want to save them for inside to try to blow the BCU off. I don't need to eat one, but I'll eat one of them. Just to, just to be a glutton. Dude, you're gonna have to die. That's bullshit. That should not have done it like that. I hit him square in the head. That should have one shot at his ass for sure. I didn't even have to use any health med supplies. I just had to use freaking... Alright, let's do this one more time. I only had to use a bandage, my bandages. Put your back to the door. Look straight down. Drop. Run like a little bitch. Yep. That blew something up. Oh, it blew the upper pot off. Let's see how much damage we do. I'm not going to waste a grenade on this. Yeah, I'm just going to pickaxe in. Alright, let's see how much damage... The BCU on the walls already had. So that wall had had hardly any. So let's see if I can do this. Because I think the only way I'm going to be able to do this is through grenades. Oh, that was perfect. I took damage from that? Are you shitting me? Screw you. Oh man, it's at 120 and we got the wall down. I can't pick it down either. Or can I? Oh. 78. Well, we're going to see if this is going to work. Because I'm curious. Watch this take down the wall and the BCU is just going to be free floating in the air. That is going to be so freaking scary. It is going to be hilarious. I'll be I wonder. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? What? How is this a thing? I told you it was going to happen. I freaking told you. Did I not just call that? Did I not just call that? You son of a bitch. Damn you cold games. You thought of everything. <laughs> well, screw you hippies. You got a lot of stuff you got to fix. <laughs> Oh, wow. Look at all them planks. I know I'm just, I could just take all, but I like doing it that way. I didn't get any freaking, I didn't get a grenade back. Let's see if there's anything I can take. Maybe they got something, look at that. I should have known that stuff floats. 
I'm an asshole. So they've been cooking stuff because it was already all, I guess, because I took it out last time. Well, we did get three padded cloth. We got one cloth. I got that off the bear. We got 22 planks, though, for real. I got some more shotgun ammo. So, yeah, they, re they looted back up fast. They just didn't get the primo stuff. Oh, fire just got fueled back up, too, by the ghost. You know what? This is so fixing to be a screenshot. Yeah, that's a screenshot right there, baby. Just found our thumbnail, at least. That just pisses me off, man. I knew that was going to happen, though. I so called that. So yeah, Cold Games has thought of it. I mean, it, it's not it's it's not feasible that it can do that. But you know what? That's the way around it, so we can't take over Hunter Base. Because, I mean, technically all we have to do is just blow up their BCU every time. Their wall with their BCU on it and take over their base. I don't even think the BCU took any damage from the shot from the grenade, did it? Oh, my God. It's got... I never... Ah, I forgot. Look at the health on that thing. So, yeah, you're not taking a BCU out. 15,000. I mean, you can't damage it by hitting it. So let's see, 14579. Oh, I am doing damage to it. I'm not going to sit here and hit that <laughs> for that. Alright, guys, any of you guys get bored and want to take out a BCU, you can do it. You can legitimately do it because it's going down. Good luck, though. Let me know how that works out for you. Because <laughs> I don't see it working out. All right, I think I'm done, folks. Damn floating ass BCU, look at that shit. I love it. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, <laughs> the mysterious floating BCU. Thanks, Edwin, for giving me the idea to try it. I do appreciate that because that was pretty damn fun to do. Oh, it's a piece of dirt. So. I hope you guys are having fun on the channel. You know what to do. If you want to support the channel, all you guys have got to do is just make sure you're subscribed. Keep coming back and watching that daily content. Make sure you got notifications turned on. And that's all. It's not hard. Just watch the videos, man. If you like them, give them a thumbs up. If you don't, give them a thumbs down. Leave a comment, man. I, I try. To, I answer every one of my comments. I enjoy talking to you guys. Um, whether you're watching an old episode and leave a comment for it on something I could have done or whether you're watching a new one. I love it. I enjoy interacting with you guys because it's fun. We're all gamers at heart and that's just the bottom line when it comes down to it. So, but as always, I've been Bloodstalker. This has been subsistence in the case of the floating BCU. Which makes me wonder. Yeah, mine's got 15k health too, so ha. Huh. So when this goes PvP, you're not taking out somebody's base so easy if they have it like that. So, I don't know. As always, though, peace out, channel.